it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please do hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already. I post Monday through Saturday and today in this video I'm going to do my top five ways to make pom-poms. Now pom-poms are fun to make but they are pom-poms are cute for like a um, decoration for like your scarf or your hat or anything you want to add to it but they are kind of a pain in the butt to make. Seriously they are are if you don't have like certain the like, right tools for it but to, tools or like you don't use enough yarn but here are some ways I found to make pom-poms poms and some of them I don't like but um these are like the best ways that I could think of because these are the ways I used to use to make pom-poms poms well, mo well one of them is a way is a form I still use to make pom-poms but um I'm going to talk about about like the best ways to make pom-poms in case you don't have like certain supplies like a pom-pom maker on handy um on hand so i'm gonna get started and if you guys have other ways to make pom-poms um let me know down in the comments below and i'm gonna get started so number one on my list has to be a pom-pom maker now this is a pom-pom maker my pom-pom maker is a little different from the most people's um the pom-pom makers that i've seen come in like a circular shape and they have like these little thingies like arm thingies um that you wrap the yarn around and it makes a perfect pom-pom and you just close it down and stuff like that and it makes like a pom-pom when you cut it a fluffy pom-pom so a pom-pom maker really does come in handy you can get these at like michael's they sell them at joann's i think they have them online for a good price too so I love pom-pom makers and stuff. They come in handy. And I do have a review on the Boye pom-pom maker, which I'll link in the description box down below if you want to see that video. So these come in handy because they make such perfect pom-poms. They're amazing. They're cute. They're fun. And it just makes it ten times easier, too. Number um, two on my list had to be using your hands. Now, this is what I had to use when I didn't have either toilet paper rolls or card or cardboard on hand hand and stuff so this is like another way to make pom-poms is just using your hands even though it is kind of a pain and stuff because you feel because like it looks like you have enough yarn when you actually don't but this does come in handy also if you um <sighs> are very patient because it does take quite a while to do to do and it is a pretty pretty handy way to make a pom pom if you don't have certain supplies to make a pom pom on hand. And then it helps really really well and it works fairly well. It's not my favorite way to make a pom pom, but it still pretty much works. Number three on my list would have to be using a piece of cardboard. So basically, if you cut like a piece of cardboard like a certain size, like let's say like four or five inches. Inches, you just wrap it around as much as you can and until it's like nice and thick. Thick, and then you just carefully slide it off when you're finished. And then you, um, and then you tie a piece of yarn in the middle and just cut. So it's really easy. I do, I actually saw someone do it on YouTube, and they, um, and that was like a pretty interesting way to make pom poms and stuff like that. So I thought that that was pretty cool, like how she used like just a piece of like four inches of cardboard just to use a pom pom maker. Even though I hate using cardboard to make pom poms because it doesn't work for me, for me and stuff. But this is just comes in handy just in case you don't have a pom pom maker. Number four, my list had to be using toilet paper paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Now this is another handy way to make a perfect pom-pom. Pom-pom. This like really helps because it helps your pom-pom to be nice and full and then you just like wrap it. Bit and stuff and it's really helpful. You just wrap it around the toilet paper rolls and then you just cut and then you just slide them out and it makes it super easy. It's kind of like easier than um, using like a DVD case or let's say a, um, bo a box because like they just slide out easier. It's just in my opinion. Opinion and it's pretty helpful too. too and I actually um, learned this on YouTube like how to use, how to make a pom-pom without a pom-pom maker. 
Maker, and I thought this was a pretty cool idea, Dan and Steph, and I actually taught some kids at my mom's work how to make pom-poms with, um, with, um, um, paper, with, um, toilet paper rolls, and it's really, really a hand, it really does come in handy, and it makes pretty much a perfect pom-pom, just like a perfect pom-pom maker would. The only downfall, it's really hard to find, uh, toilet paper rolls. Number five on my list, you have to be using your fingers. Now, this also comes in handy if you don't have any other supplies to make a pom-pom. Even though it is kind of a pain, it's pretty much helpful because, like, pom... Because, um, then you can wrap it, like, a lot around your hand, and then you know how much to wrap. Wrap and stuff like that. And this is just comes in handy in case you're making a tiny pom-pom if you don't have a tiny pom-pom maker. Even though it is a little bit of a pain, this is just another way to make a pom-pom if you don't have a pom-pom maker. Maker, because it pretty much helps and stuff like that. Because if you just wrap it, um, randomly around nothing, it's going to turn out really weird and ugly. Trust me, been there, done that, never want to go back. Okay, so those are my top five ways to make pom-poms. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!